Welcome back guys. This is section 5.2 and today we are going to solve question number 10 of it. So in this question, uh, the statement is use AND gates OR gates. Okay, so AND gates OR gates or combination of both. Okay, so the combination of both should be used to implement the following logic uh, expressions as stated. Okay, so we have to implement these logic expression as the digital circuits of the uh, digital logic design uh, which is the basic step in the digital logic design circuitry okay so here step or the part a here is a plus b plus c okay and that is basically equal to x okay so the first step here is to see what are the inputs we have so here we have two, two three inputs a b and c okay so let me draw them here this is a this is b this is c so let me label them as well so a b c and what are basically the uh, expression what are basically the operations which has been uh, done here so here the operation is this plus which means or so in order to simplify this question what are we going to do we are basically implementing this circuitry or the gate for which the number of inputs will be the same as the number of inputs uh, given in this question so therefore we are not restricting restricting ourselves to the two input gates but the number of inputs to the gate can be variable okay so what is this this is basically the or gate and here in order to draw it what i have to do let me draw it by using this uh, color so this is the or gate okay and the out inputs to it are this this and this so let me connect it with this one this one and this one and the output of it is x which is a plus b plus c okay so what is this this is the output circuit similarly for part b here let me write part b here and the output here is a b c okay again we have three inputs so let me draw the number of inputs here so a b c let me label them a b c and the operation which is performed here is this and operation okay so let me draw this and circuit with this these three inputs so the and circuit is represented by this sign okay as the number of inputs are not restricted to three so uh, not restricted to two so therefore i am drawing the three input uh, and get in reality you might have them in the form of the two gates as well and in order uh, two inputs as well so in order to implement then these kind of uh, circuits what you have to do if you have three inputs so let me draw them here so there you will have this gate so first you will have to implement these uh, two so if this is a b c okay the output of it will be given to the second two input circuit so it will be here and it will be given to it as well so here in this manner it will give me a b c okay but here as we are not restricting ourselves to the two input gate so therefore all of it these inputs will be given to this gate and the output of it would be would be one would be what that would be x equal to a b c and that is the output of part b okay similarly in part c let me move down somehow so in part c what we have so let me write here part c and in part c we have a plus b c and that is equal to x which is the output okay so let me see that how many inputs do we have so the number of inputs we have are three so again the number of inputs let me draw them here okay this is here and let me label them this is a this is b this is c these are the number of inputs and what has been happening here we can very easily see that here first b and c are multiplied together and then these are added with this a okay so first of all these two will be multiplied together and then added with this uh, a so therefore we will have two gates here the and gate okay and this will be what this will be or gate so therefore let me draw them so the and gate is between b and c so this will be the and gate okay so when this will be given so what will happen here here i will get b multiplied by c okay and uh, after it what is happening here this product is added 
okay this bc is added with this uh, one so this is the product which is now given to this or gate okay which has also two inputs so this bc is given to it and similarly with it this a is also provided and the output of it will be equal to what a plus bc and that is what this is the answer of part c here okay so here we can see that this is the circuitry which have to be implemented okay similarly for part d this is part d so this is the only part which i am this is the last part of uh, this video and after it in our, our next video we will talk about part e f g and h so let me move down somehow as well so now in this part we have here part d so in part d what do we have so in part d we have a b plus c d okay so again let me first see how many inputs do i have so here the number of inputs will be four and those are a b and c d so let me draw them here so let me draw them here so a b c and d and these are a b c and d these are the inputs okay so what are the operations which has been performed here here we can see that in between these two and in be between these two we are having the and operation okay similarly here the and operation and in between them then or will be performed so first of all these operations will be performed and at the end these will be added together so let me do the same here so a and b okay so here these two will be given and here i will get what a b okay similarly here c d okay two inputs and these will be given and here i will get what c d okay after it these are added together so therefore here i will have this or gate with two inputs okay these in outputs are given to it and here we will get what a b plus c d and this is what this is equal to x and this is the answer of part d here which we had to find okay so uh, this in this video what we have done we have talked about all the uh, parts from a to d and we have seen that how to implement the boolean expressions uh, by using the digital circuitry which we have previously seen and here all the circuits are composed of and or or the combination of these two okay so that's it for today in which we have seen all the things which i had to do and which are asked in this question so i will see you with the remaining parts in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon